Mohammed Ahmed lies in a Benghazi hospital struggling for life, a seven-year-old boy and a victim of Gaddafi's fight against so-called terrorists. He was shot together with his parents as they fled the fighting in a city suburb early Saturday. His father Ahmed lies motionless in a bed opposite. His mother was undergoing emergency surgery. When they tried to escape during the attack and bombing, they received uh, the uh, gunshot, the mother, father and baby. The opposition say more than 30 people were killed and many more wounded as troops loyal to Gaddafi swept into the city late Friday night. A day after the Libyan leader announced a ceasefire, they learned to their cost the lies and deceit of a man who promised them no mercy. All the Americans of France or Italy or all the world, you know, help the Gaddafi. Give it to him the guns of all the world. Why? But what? But the uh, oil? What? Oil. Take the oil. But just leave it, leave it the people here. Mortar and artillery barrages hit the city for more than 14 hours after Gaddafi's men moved into the western districts. Pools of thick black smoke wafted over Benghazi for much of the day as the shells came down. This is the residential area of Erhaba, just three kilometers from the city center. Fighting here was intense, forcing many residents to flee. Two full hours with no stop shooting civilians. And this is the truth, I swear, I've seen it in my eyes. Shops and apartment blocks were hit by heavy weapons, the tracks and scars left by tanks. People reported that there were hundreds of pro-government soldiers. One of the rebels' MiG-23 fighter aircraft was hit in the battle as it attempted to engage heavy weaponry. It was downed by the rebels by mistake. For much of the day, Benghazi streets emptied, save for rebel fighters who moved forward to engage the enemy. But the streets were also full of fear and anger. For days, the rebels had been preparing their defences. On Saturday, they were put to the test, and for one day at least, they held. At least two tanks were captured and other heavy weaponry. These people say they took this anti-aircraft rocket launcher at 7.30 this morning after heavy fighting. They say they lost about seven men doing it. Most of the people left from here and all the locals came and joined the fight. They said it was intensive. Tells you two things. Gaddafi is using very heavy weapons here. And also the resistance of the people in Benghazi is quite intense. It was a morale boost for the fighters who presented the mobile phones and hip flasks of the enemy. It was believed they came from the south of Libya and from Ajdabia, where we understood battles are still being fought. In a hospital morgue, the bodies of Gaddafi's men on display, underneath their uniform, civilian clothes, suggesting that some, at least, may have been part of the Libyan leader's secret network of sleeper cells which have been activated. On Saturday afternoon, they withdrew, leaving deserted streets and apprehension but how many remain in hiding. In the hospital, the prognosis for little Mohammed is good. They expect him to pull through, but it's unlikely that his mother and father will make it. For them, at least, international intervention came too late. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Benghazi.